So welcome to our new studio at the Ottawa store, Great Hobbies. We're taking a look at the new Goldwing Sukhoi, and this is the 50cc class airplane, 88-inch uh, wingspan, about 82 inches long to the cowl to the tip of the rudder. And today we just want to showcase a few of the uh, niceties of this airplane. Uh, the first thing, it comes with a uh, really nice set of hardware. So the hardware that comes with it is actually from Kuza. Uh, for those who don't know, Kuza actually is the brand that makes the Extreme Flight hardware. Uh, so you see all these nice red anodized bits, a lot of carbon fiber. Uh, this is a really nice high-end brand of hardware, and the airplane actually comes with this. Nice aluminum hubbed wheels. They are ultra lightweight, uh, which is super nice. Uh, really nice uh, fiberglass work. So these uh, wheel pants are really cool. You don't see them very often on a Sukhoi. They're actually a scale. Uh, you can see the nice teardrop shape. Uh, a lot of wheel pants are just sort of your typical half moon shape. Uh, so those are really nice. Uh, going to the airplane itself, it's got a really nice trim scheme on it. Uh, kind of scale looking. It's a little bit longer than a typical Sukhoi, so it's going to track a little nicer. It's got uh, your typical... Uh, six inch difference between your wingspan and your length. So it's uh, it's going to have a nice tracking ability. It's not as short coupled as a lot of Sukhois uh, used to be. So that's a really nice feature as well. So if we take a look inside under the hatch here, you'll see it's got traditional uh, plywood and balsa construction. Uh, the really nice thing is it's all beautifully laser cut. Uh, really nice tray for the fuel tank. Uh, if you look down inside the fuse, if we can, don't know how lighting is, uh, you got a nice tube going to the back for the uh, servo cables to go back there. Uh, really nice tray for a pull-pull setup if you want to go that way on your rudder. And it has really nice carbon fiber uh, wing tube, comes with carbon fiber um, socket, and also the tail tube is carbon fiber. And if we look over here, We've got some things that uh, would be really nice to put into this airplane. Uh, we're now carrying the NGH two-stroke and four-stroke gas engines. Uh, this happens to be the 70C CGT motor, so it's a uh, 70 twin. And this would be an absolute beautiful engine to put in this airplane. Extremely smooth, uh, lots of power, and uh, notably it actually fits inside the cowl beautifully and there's room for the spark plug cap so you won't have to carve up your cowl. Uh, if you run um, a canister exhaust system on this, uh, you won't have to cut the cowl at all, except for maybe some air inlets. Uh, if you're running uh, stock mufflers, then yes, you'll want to cut your cowl to drop them at the bottom. Uh, as well, we see the OMG servos. Uh, the ones I chose to bring out were the OMG 40 kilogram variants. Uh, these happen to be waterproof. They're extremely high speed. And they are also water, or waterproof, high speed, and very high torque. So we're looking at uh, 500 plus ounces of torque. Uh, on 8.4 volts, they're actually 0 0.065 second transit speed. They are lightning fast. So these would make really good servos. Uh, maybe not completely necessary for this airplane unless you want extreme performance. Uh, you could go down to their slightly lighter 36 or 32 kg servos uh, and get the same probably similar performance uh, for this particular aircraft. So anyway, that was our first little video for our Goldwing aircraft. I uh, just wanted to showcase these. It's a very beautiful airplane, and uh, I think it'll be a really nice airplane once the fields open up. So there you go.